Is this mission impossible? Or can Rendell Munro pull off what would be an extraordinary achievement on foreign soil? British yeah, fine history wow, has sprung wow. up the occasional sweet success on a way turf against a strong champion. John H. Tracy overcame Jose Napoli's in Mexico. Lloyd Hannigan destroyed Don Curry in Atlantic City. Wayne McCulloch won his world title in Japan. But Terry Allen, Alan Rudkin and Ken Buchanan all lost. Compelling clash between two sharp southpaws for the WBC World Super Bantamweight title and neither has ever been beaten at eight stone ten. Fascinating, Jim. Yeah, the, one of the things that worries me is uh, Monroe's habit of starting slowly in fights. He knows he has a great engine, he can come on strongly in the second half of a fight, but you cannot allow that to happen at world level and top world level you have to start as 12 rounds you have to start straight away and thankfully Monroe seems to try to get down to business straight away you can't leave yourself a mountain to climb don't want to be chasing things especially away from home it was ponderous for the first two or three rounds against Victor Tarrafas in the eliminator for this championship Rendell Monroe then got into gear with momentum. Can he deal with the speed of Nishioka, who's being cheered every punch he throws? Yeah, well, he's certainly throwing the flashier punches in the opening round that the, the champion. Lots of them being blocked by Monroe. But uh, Nishioka just looking a little bit busier, but on the back foot, which is good news. Monroe not allowing him to bully. Good defence from Munro. He's got hold of the middle of the ring. He's trying to get his own jab working. The Japanese were stunned with Munro on the scales, how chiselled he looked. Getting his arms up to block these punches. The idea might be to try and take Nishioka late. They feel he'll tire. And already some marking around the right eye of the champion. Yep, well, a long, hard career at the age of 34, but this is a good, positive start from Monroe. And warming up nicely as the first round goes into the last half minute or so. Decent defence again from Monroe, and there's a confident look about the Leicester bin man in those fluorescent trunks. Maybe could have been a little bit busier punch-wise, Monroe, but I'm not too worried about that. It's, it's, it's the way he started this, the confident look about his work, the way he's marching forward, not allowing Nishioka the centre of the ring. Nishioka putting punches together in a flashy manner, which maybe edges the round, but this is an excellent start from Monroe. I like Welcome back to World Championship Boxing in Tokyo, Japan. And Toshiaki Nishioka, the uh, WBC Super Bantamweight King, might have taken that opening session, but there are reasons to be confident and positive if you're a Rendell Munro supporter, Jim. Yep, and Nishioka breathing pretty heavily at the end of the opening round. I think he was quite surprised at what Munro put into that opening round. Right on the front foot, Rendell Munro in fight number 23, the 30 year old. He's only ever lost once before to Andy Morris up at featherweight. This is what he's good at getting in close and the work rate and commitment. But the sharp shots of Nishioka are the danger. I mean, Nishioka has power in that left hand, but he's, he's not cultured. He has to be coming forward to generate the power. You know, he doesn't score knockouts or knockdowns off the back foot. So I think uh, Monroe maybe senses this and he's trying to push him back, make him work, keeping in mind he's 34. So, and yep, excellent start. And he's been around since 1994. Nishio got through the weights as well. Now happy in the 8 stone 10 division, Monroe just smiles as if to say, that's not troubling me. The problem you have when you're blocking shots I mean, it still looks as though they're partially landing. 
So you want to be countering. If you're going to be blocking shots, then you want to be coming back with counters, not just blocking them and then moving away. Team Bunro just got the sense that Nishioka, rather an on-top fighter who tends to fade. He has been beaten four times before. Three draws as well on the record. It's not perfect. Munro still charging forward, trying to cut the range and prevent Nishioka from getting into a rhythm. It's very, very positive, this, from Munro. It's a tre tremendous start. I'm really impressed the way he's claiming the centre of the ring. He's making Nishioka work. The, the, the problem is the fact that he's blocking you know, he's using blocking as a defence, it's making Nishioka just look that little bit busier at times than he is. And came out early to Japan, after spells in Portugal at altitude as well, a nine-week training camp for Rendell Munro. He knows he might have to suck up a lot early here, but he's got a good chin, he's shown that in the past. Nishioka with the advantage in speed and fleet of foot, but Munro right with him in the second round. Good action too. Yeah, tremendous action. This is better for Munro. I would just like to see him lead off a little bit more often. This is excellent. Lovely burst there from him. Looked like he just troubled Nishioka momentarily. The champion. A spring in the step of Leicester's Munro, who's keeping that guard tight. Just looks as though he may not be denied here, Munro. Well, the corner of Toshiaki Nishioka, who was breathing heavily when he went back to his stool. The uh, Japanese support tried to rally the champion, who's well-regarded, well-respected. Just looks a little unnerved to me. No, he's the one with the, the slightly worried look on his face, Munro. Although I feel he's maybe getting outworked a little bit, I'd like to see him maybe lead off a little bit more. But the way he's going about the job is impressive, and he's looking more comfortable for me than the champion is at the moment. And remember, Rendell Munro tends to rev up as the rounds go by. He's completed the championship distance on six occasions, Nishioka only five. But Nishioka has operated at the higher level, the WBC super bantamweight champion and enjoying a good reign. Nishioka trying to get the centre of the ring now, trying to push Munro back. I'm sure his corner have insisted upon that. He is a fighter who likes to come forward. Nishioka had his best win against Johnny Gonzalez in Monterrey, Mexico. Picked himself up off the floor and a wonderful left hand dispatched Gonzalez. He was a good world champion. Body shots. This is better from Nishioka. Yeah, he seems to have warmed his tash now. He's looking a little bit more relaxed. His punches are flowing a little bit more now. Maybe he was a little bit surprised by the tactics of Munro in the first couple of rounds. The right hand from Nishioka. Munro comes back. Big question, is he quite good enough, cute enough, Munro, at this level, on this stage? Mandatory challenger, of course, he's done it the hard way. But Nishioka, a proven world champion. Yeah, certainly Nishioka looking a little bit smoother in the first uh, couple of minutes of the third round here. Left hand from Munro. Tries to get the jab flowing. I remember thinking, Jim, when he fought Victor Terrazas Munro, that he was on his way out after three, four rounds, but he came back. The motor, the engine, started to, to tick in. Yeah, that night, in the early rounds, he looked as though he didn't fancy the job. Then he just seemed to switch on all of a sudden. But that's not the case tonight. He's giving it a real go right from the off. But uh, I just think he's been outworked again in this round. Uh, I think Nishioka, there's an improvement in his work in this round. Less for Munro, but has been outsmarted here in this session. Rendell Munro, and hits thin air there.
technical.